Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So today is an exciting video. I'm actually testing out the new iHeart Revolution Toasted Marshmallow Palette. This is brand new. It's in a tin packaging. Now, I've never tried any of iHeart Revolution new tin packages before. They did come out with another palette called the Proline Palette. They also came out with the first tin package, which I can't remember what it was called actually. Um, my mind's gone blank, but they did bring out a couple of months ago their first tin package. I just never got around to buying it I don't know why but this one caught my eye so yeah I'm excited to get into this palette today I cannot wait to try out their formula if it's changed or not um but yeah if you're interested to see how this look turns out then carry on watching hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one and yeah without further ado let's get into this palette Okay, so I have got it in front of me. Their first tin package palette was called the Coco Chocolate Tin, and that's the one that I didn't get. Then the other palette is the Pecan Proline palette, and then of course we've got the Toasted Marshmallow. So there's three tin packages. They all priced at £10, so it is more than the typical iHeart Revolution palette. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. I really do like the outside packaging. It's got I'm a tin here. I would have thought it had like a cover here to fill this square, uh, like a window, but it doesn't. It, it's just, you can touch the actual palette. I don't know if that's a package full seal or anything, but I really do like packaging, it's really cute. We've got what the colours look like inside. So here we are. At first, when they brought out the first tin package, I wasn't really much for it, but now I've got it in front of me and I've got it in my hands, I can feel it. It's got a magnetic close. I'm kind of like, on the same level, I'm kind of liking it. This is such a cute turn. Um, it's got like a beige chocolate white drip on the front. Yeah, I do like this case. And then inside, now this is what is brand new to me. They've got like a, a border around the mirror. Hopefully you can see that. And this is what the colors look like. Now, straight off the bat, I see no shimmers, um, which is, quite surprising because I Heart Revolution do love their shimmer palettes. I have got another matte palette which is the cinnamon palette um, but yeah this has got no shimmers. I was thinking oh I wish there was a shimmer in here but again you could use this palette with another palette. I think this palette would be great with the Unicorn Heart shimmer palette as this is an all shimmer. Yeah I think this palette would work great with this. We got like similar tones. Today I'll be just using the palette what we got given in front of me. What colours would you choose out of this palette? So when I look up close, there is some shades in here that have like specks of shimmer, like tiny specks of shimmer, but they feel totally matte. I would still class this as an all matte palette, yeah. I think the Pauline palette had two shimmers in there. I am going to do some swatches. Let's see what they're like. So here are all the shades swatched and I can't really tell if there is a difference in the swatches from the other palettes, they all swatched very nice, smooth to touch, I'd say. Um, some shades did take double coating, like that green one there. But all in all, I've got nothing bad to say about it really. It's got a nice colour selection. Um, I really like the names in here as well, it's really cute. So we've got like, starting from the top, Creamy Mellow, Puffs, Ding Dong, Bite Size, Dripping, Maple, Brazier, Candy Coated, Mellow Melts, Pops, Vanilla Marshmallow, Skewers, Filling, Chocolate Swirl, Oogie Gooey, <laughs> Oogie Gooey, Homemade. So yeah, colours like this, I never know how to use. How would you use this colour? Right, I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Eye Base shade number three. I've still got this nasty cold. Just doesn't want to go away. I think I want to go for a purple. Let's try Dipping. I think I'm just going to put dip in all over. All over for now. Yeah, that colour packs on very nice. Yeah, I'm also going to use that dipping shade just on the lower lash line, just so we've got something down. 
It's nice pinky purple. Decided I want to do a, just a purple smoky matte eye look. Leah. I am going to take another brush. I'm going to take a smaller brush. And I'm going to use the shade... Who is it now? I'm just going to use the shade Ewe Gooey. And I'm just going to put that slightly above where we put dip in. Just so we can smooth the edges out with the Ewe Gooey shade. <clears throat> I'm going to go in another shade in a man. Next shade, I'm going to go in with... I think I want to go with an orange. Extra sweet. Let's try that. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll soon find out. I wish there was a yellow in here. I think a yellow would have worked great. But this orange could look nice with the purple. I'm going to blend it out further with the maple shade. Blend out the extra sweet shade with maple. And then I'm gonna go with Mallow Melts, Mallow Melts. And just try to blend out maple with that. I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing here, but I've got this concussion. So I see it. I am going to take extra sweets again. I'm just, just going to try do what I did on the upper lid, but on the bottom. I'm liking it. it it's looking quite, quite nice. I feel like with this eyeshadow palette, there's not many things to do. Um, because I'd go in a shimmer right now in the inner corner, but we don't have that option. So I'm so tempted to go in the unicorn heart. Please let me go in this. I just think the shimmers in here would suit so well with the mattes in here. Like you have got the legend shade that would look so nice with the dripping shade that we've got. We've got the phoenix shade would look great with the extra sweet shade. I really want to go into a shade um, Whimsy. Let me just try this. Like I just think that looks instantly better if we just put a little shimmer in there. So a shimmer like Whimsy would look great with the palette, um, but it's no, no trouble. That is all I'm gonna do, I promise. <laughs> so guys, eyeshadow complete. I have just put on my base. I've just used the I Heart Revolution Elf Primer. And then I went into my Ciate London Extraordinary Foundation Shade Silk and Maybelline Fit Me Shade Number no. 5. And then I also just powdered down with the Revolution Lace Powder. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray myself. I'm gonna use the Cranberry Makeup Setting Spray by I Heart Revolution. Um, I'm just going to put on this e.l.f. highlighter again. This is in the shade Jovi. Jovi. I'm just Yeah, I swear this highlighter gets better and better. I think there's a layer on it, someone said. Um, so the more time you use it, the better it gets. I do like this highlighter. I need to put a blush on. I feel like I want to go with this Milani one. It's been a while. This is in the shade Luminoso. Ooh, this looks nice with the eyeshadow. Okay, do I go in the Blooming Jack in the Box lip again? <laughs> I just feel like this lipstick goes with everything now. Come on. I don't know. I just feel like it does. I'm using the Tasty Gingerbread lipstick. I just wanna get my use out of it. Um, so this is the iHeart Revolution ALF Candy Cane Lip Gloss, shade Jack in the Box. This lip 
is just doing it for the eyeshadow, I'm telling you. So I'm going to do my brows dead quick. I'm going to use the NYX brow pencil in shade taupe. I don't want to do too much to my brows. This is my second video to film this day. I'm quite proud of myself. I'm just gonna use my tasty marshmallow mascara. No, what is up with me today? Tasty watermelon mascara and the 5D lash from Revolution. So guys, here's the completed look using the Toasted Marshmallow Palette from My Heart Revolution. Um, yeah, I really do like this look I come out with. Of course, I've only used two shades, did I? <laughs> yeah, well, I've used a couple of shades. Um, I think they performed absolutely fine. I had no issues with these colours that I've used today. Um, I really do like the packaging. I love the front of it. I love the casing. I like the border around the mirror. I just don't see any significant improvement in the quality of the shadows um so i'm not sure why it is 10 pound maybe it's because it's the revamped packaging like i said earlier um but yeah i just don't see maybe there is i don't know the colors that i've used i just i can't tell that there's a difference with the quality i probably need to try out with shimmer um from another tin packaging so that could help me out with my thoughts but yeah this old matte palette performed absolutely fine i think it's going to go great with the unicorn heart glow palette um just the similarities in the shimmers and mattes in this palette just go so nicely together um like just look at that they're made for each other they are made for a tour. So yeah, I'm not sure whether to get the Proline palette. I want to look at other people's videos first. I hear Alex has got both of the palettes. So I'm going to check her video out, see what she thinks of the Proline, whether she prefers over this or the other. Um, I think I'm just going to carry on using this, get a feel for it, try out some more colour combinations. Uh, I definitely need to do another video of it. Please help me out with some colour selection. Like how would you use how would you use grey eyeshadow? I always struggle with greys. Um yeah, I think it'd be cool if there was a yellow shade in here. I would like at least a one shimmer in here. Um, even though I did have to go in the unicorn heart glow, use that whimsy shimmer. The whimsy shimmer. It just helps to lift up the eye. It just it just draws attention to it. All in all, nice. I think the lip I'm losing that lipstick all the time now. Um, it's such a nice lipstick and it goes with a lot of eye colours for the autumn, I'd say. But yeah, that is my video today. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this new palette testing. Do let me know if you got this palette. Did you pick it up or did you get the Proline? What do you think of it? But yeah, if you did like this kind of video, do give it a big thumbs up. It should help my channel out. Of course, if you don't want to miss out what I upload next, then hit the notification bell and turn it on. I hear YouTube are getting rid of the dislike button soon. Wonder why. A bit of a random one that is. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time to watch this and I shall see you next one. Bye.